in this era in the NBA, what was the player pool like for the NBA and what was the caliber of, of athletes? I mean, we're, we're like top tier athletes. Um, I mean, we know like Dr. J, for example, yeah. who's, who's yeah. prominent in your book, an incredible athlete. Nobody would doubt that. Mm-hmm. But what was the talent pool like that? And um, did you kind of get a sense of the interest in the general public and, and like kids growing up for playing basketball? It's a really good question. You know, I think it's funny. You, you watch, I, mean, I watch the NBA now and, and I think this answers your question. These athletes are, these, these athletes are just, they're at an elite level. I mean, totally. they're just they, I mean, you cannot be average in build or in conditioning and play an 82 game season. In NBA. It's just not possible anymore. The game moves too quickly. And, the the, the 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 players are too fast, too strong. It just doesn't work. So, you know, there might be one or two exceptions, but the but the days of a plucky Rudy type, you know, breaking the mm-hmm. lineup, that's not going to happen. I think, but I think the reason why a lot of people, a lot of people like the seventies and eighties, is because I think that was the last era where you could have sort of an everyman as a star the conditioning wasn't at, wasn't as big a factor the um you know there wasn't this this whole the AAU system where you're sort of geared to become a basketball player and mm-hmm. you you work toward that your enti- you know your entire childhood that didn't exist so you had a, an array of player uh, you had an array of players that were just that looked mortal that looked regular so i mean if you look at if you look at clips of let's say moses malone or magic johnson or larry bird they're very skinny they're not ripped i mean michael jordan was i mean for a lot of people if you lifted weights that was an impediment because you didn't want to be too you didn't want to be over overdeveloped so i think a lot and i think the reason why a lot of people like the 70s and 80s is because you had there was more there was a, a slight there was more that ordinary man aspect to it a little more relatable, perhaps. Exactly. Yeah. So, like you know, a guy. I mean, you could look at George Gervin, who was six foot seven and one hundred and fifty pounds soaking wet, and be like, oh, I, I kind of look like that guy. I could maybe play, or someone like Billy Pulse, the Whopper, who was you know looked like your looked like my dad a little bit, you know, a bit of a gut, shaggy haircut. And I think as time went on, the athletes became better. There was more interest in the game. Um, you know, and the the, you know, the 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 diets got better, the training got better, our understanding of physiology and anatomy got better. So the so you had to become an extreme athlete. But that's not to say, as you just mentioned, that the NBA didn't have great athletes at that time. I mean, you know, Dr. J was a was a was a wonderful athlete. I mean, that's a, that's a prime example. I mean, the athlete. I mean, to to play forty eight minutes of basketball and to play and, and to just be able to do the things that someone like Dr. J or David Thompson um, or even Larry Bird did still requires a tremendous, a, tre- a tremendous amount of a number of physical skills. It's just that the pa- I think the packaging for those skills has changed over time. Um, you know, whereas, you know, again, if you were, you know, again, if you're a six, a six foot eight, 190 pound guy, is not going to survive into that today's NBA? He might, that person might have survived in the 1970s and 1980s. Uh, does that answer your question? I, 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 I feel I may have danced around a little bit. No, absolutely. And I think uh, some of the things you you said there are kind of proved by the popularity of Steph Curry. You know, yeah. when he really had his explosion. A, a big reason is, you know, like like I'm roughly Steph Curry's height. I, I think he's got like maybe an inch on me, maybe yeah. half an inch. But uh, you know, you see something like that, and you're like, wow, guy guy who's six three is <laughs> is putting it down. Yeah, um, but if you look at Steph, I mean. You've seen those dribbling skills that he does, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't I mean, have near that. <laughs> there's always that's the that's the I mean, even that's the wonderful part about the NBA is that the is that with, with any sport is that the packaging can sometimes be can sometimes can sometimes deceive you, and but the, but but those play but the players are still compensating it in, in other ways. So someone like Steph Steph Curry has that great quickness. He has that great body control, and, and you know he also you know, probably shot 10,000 jumpers a week mm-hmm. and just became, you know, a freak at it. And, but that's, but yeah, but I got, but there, I don't think maybe I'm miss, maybe I'm not, maybe, you know, there, maybe I'm missing someone, but you, but that kind of player is, is rare where it's just like, yeah, okay. That, you know, like Fred Van Vliet, I, 
you know, I could maybe, you know, I, that could, that could be me if I lost 25 pounds and wasn't in my mid forties. It's, it's a, yeah, the, the game there, there's, I'm, it's going to be, I'm going to, it's going to be curious to see how the game develops in the next 20 years and what kind of, what kind of athletes are going to be on the court. If it's going to be shorter, taller, but the at, but the, but the, but the athleticism is just, is going to be untouchable. I think, I think the NBA has the best athletes in the world. Um, to your point, Pete, um, yeah. to your discussion, I, I think another player that comes to mind is Allen Iverson, mm-hmm. um, just because he brought a, a new element of just hip hop culture. Yeah. And that was related, relatable to a lot of players. He's just an icon yeah. still now and influencing mm-hmm. so many players. And also his style was relatable to just playing pickup ball, like on the court. So yeah, I think that's, absolutely. that was another player.